Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. As you, my regular subscribers, undoubtedly know by now, Mr. Anderson Cooper did another hit piece on me. He put me on his ridiculous for the fourth time. And I think I know why he is upset. He doesn't like the fact that I endorsed Mr. Mitt Romney for president in my last video. That's why I'm voting for Mitt Romney. He's a hero in my mind. Yes, our old friend William Tapley is back. You remember William Tapley, Bill, to you and me? Bill to you and me. Well, that's okay. A lot of people call me Bill. That is my nickname. What's your nickname, Anderson? May I call you Andy? I have 17 nieces and nephews, and they call me Uncle Bill. You can call me Uncle Bill if you would like to. I mean, we do look a lot of like. We both have very white hair, as you can see. We both have very big noses, as you can see. And we really do have a lot in common. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. I am straight as an arrow. Maybe, uh, maybe I better go back to calling you Mr. Cooper. So when I heard that the co-prophet of the end times had a new video and a new song, I gotta say, I was just happy to hear that he seems to be branching out from what we all know is his favorite topic. He and I actually went back and forth about this for a period of time last summer. That topic being, of course, how in his mind the Denver International Airport is chock full of phallic symbols. The bird standing upright is phallic. The shape of the sign is phallic. And even the name is phallic. Now, Andy, I mean Mr. Cooper. Phallic symbols at the Denver airport is not my favorite topic. I have posted over 260 videos. Only a handful are about that weird art at the Denver airport. You have ridiculed me four times on your program, but never once have you gone out and attempted to get the artist's view on all of this. What does Mr. Tanguma say? What I say is correct. For example, the sign in the clip that you use yourself says impanus on it. Now I know that is Latin for featherless, but we all know what it means in English. The fact is, Mr. Cooper, I am correct in my analysis of the Denver murals, just as I am correct in endorsing Mitt Romney for president. And now, Mr. Cooper, I will tell you why you will not interview the artist in this case. And the reason is, he might very well admit that he has hidden sexual imagery in his murals. Or he might lie on camera. And you know full well, a lot of your audience would pick up on that. They would know that he is lying. Either way, all you can do is to make fun of me without any facts whatsoever. Because if you did otherwise, if you interview the artist, you, if you found out what is really going on in those Denver murals, that might make you look ridiculous. 